Respondent Liam Combs sat down with the Secretary of State Nancy Landry today to talk about keeping your vote secure. Liam. Hey Liz, Secretary Landry has been going around the state talking to local election officials before the voting process kicks off this week. She told me she's hard at work to close loopholes and make sure this election is secure as possible. So in Louisiana, we do elections right. We are ranked in the top 10 in the nation in election integrity, and it's because of what I call the four P's of election integrity, and that's our people, our policies, our procedures, and our physical security. And as for that physical security, Landry says voting machines are not connected to the internet and managed exclusively by verified election officials. And part of our policies and procedures include testing and sealing our machines in a public meeting with a tamper evident seal. And so when that seal is put on and it's tamper evident, you can tell if anybody tried to mess with it. And it's opened again in a public meeting as well. National talking points on election integrity played a role in the recent changes to the voting process. The secretary's office now has access to the names of non-citizens in the state. Voting as a non-citizen has always been a crime, but Landry says she found 48 names who were registered to vote. So I'm, I'm not aware of them having voted or not, and we're still investigating that, but that was 48 people who should not have been on our voter rolls and were removed. Another talking point, mail-in voting which is now only available to people who qualify for 12 exemptions. One of them being 65 years old. But for people voting by mail, only one person is allowed to help you with your ballot. It's all an effort to curb ballot harvesting. Landry says this should not make it harder to vote. The registrar of voters goes into the nursing home, and these are professional election administrators who are trained in ways to assist people with, to vote without influencing their vote. Moving past this election, Landry says she hopes to get a whole new voting system. The last upgrade, 30 years ago. So our machines are so old that they're falling apart sometimes and, um, and we can't get the parts for them anymore because they don't make the parts for them. So, um, so we have to get a new system in the next year or two. It's urgent. Now, to be clear, there has been no evidence of voter fraud in Louisiana, but Landry says it's important to close loopholes so that everyone is confident on the results on Election Day. All right, Liam, thank you. Let's turn out to your...